The Bond J Artistry on April 29 hosted a symposium on sustainable fashion at Hotel Kairos in Timapur. The event focused on the Naga clothing and textile industry and featured three sessions with three different resource persons. In the first session, Jasmina Ziliang, the founder of Heirloom Naga, discussed the scope of indigenous textiles and fashion in the global market, strategies for marketing, and the dangers of Nagas quickly adapting Western culture while overlooking the unique beauty of traditional attire. She also suggested that local weavers and designers should give their works contemporary narratives. In the second session, Minodo Nagami lectured on Naga indigenous fibers and dyes and how designers can use them in contemporary clothing. The third session was led by Teye Keditsu and focused on the three RS reduce, reuse and recycle of sustainable fashion. The evening concluded with a fashion show at 6 p.m.
We had a great time this morning um, discussing various issues relating to sustainable fashion and Nagas and the Naga clothing industry and how we can contribute positively towards um, stopping the, the effects of climate change. This fashion show is a continuation of that and we hope that you will enjoy tonight's show. Our gratitude goes to Tafma for partnering with us um, to make this program uh, possible. We also want to thank the management of Kairos for giving us this venue, for enabling us and giving us the freedom to turn this restaurant into a fashion show place. So thank you, Inobo and everybody at Kairos. I would like to take this privilege because tonight we have four amazing designers showcasing and we are so honored to have the, from the Exotic Eco team, Miss Kuku. Can you kindly come on stage and share a word? Um, hello, a very good evening and welcome to this wonderful place and also organized by this wonderful trios. So thank you so much, Nise, Bambi, Opang, for this opportunity uh, to welcome my three weavers and also the team that is left behind in Dezepe. I am uh, the spokesperson and the secretary for Exotic Echo, and uh, we just want to convey that your presence here matters a lot uh, for the fact that the very purpose and essence that uh, our dear tree friends have put together with the morning and this evening uh, is in itself a serious thought that has gone into it. Today I'm wearing the three concept, you know, what they have uh, curated, the slow fashion. Um, I'm using a hands-down coat today and at the same time a hand-woven uh, uh, items that has been passed on and I felt that to honor the three friends and for what they're doing, I felt that this is the best way to dress up and come. Um, yes, I'm feeling a little hot. <laughs> but definitely in style and also to say that sustainability will entirely depend when we create ecosystems like this. And it is with respect and it is in harmony when we get our hearts and mind together. And fashion, is fashion possible with textile? It is possible when all of us respect each other's creation and also come together in humanity because there's a lot of people behind this stakeholder. Today I have my weavers. This is the first time they have attended um, a gathering like this. I said, please make sure that you are representing your brand, so dress up. They came up with their free mind and they just picked up their clothes, whatever they could find. And they saw all of you and they were like, oh my goodness. But I said, this is the world that we live in, but just be yourself. And I think making a statement of being yourself is very important. So thank you very much for this honor and to the artisans' hands. Thank you. Good evening. A round of applause, please, for Miss Kuku. Wow. You have heard it. That is the first segment you will witness tonight. And the second segment we have for you is Vico Ethnic. This is a brand which is like helping the rural women, especially the widows. And they started in the year 2019 in Dimapur, and they specialize in designing and in weaving from exclusive range of home furnishing, clothing bags, etc. And it is something like a storytelling of our tribal culture in traditional colors and motifs, and with a contemporary touch. So that is the second sequence. And the third sequence for you will be Actually, three of us, we came up with a plan. You know, we identified a stylist among the young Gen Z, we call the Gen Zs. So we spotted this young boy called Tokibo, and he goes by the, um, his avatar name, Fly Dogs. And we asked him to, you know, select thrifting from the, you know, since Nagaland, we are the huge consumer of second-hand clothing, and that's the ugly truth. And also, that is actually helping the sustainability. And so he went to Chumbu Bazaar and then sorted out so many, uh, you know, outfits for the models and accessories as well. He's so incredible. So you'll enjoy his thrifting as well. So make sure the third segment is going to be a magical for your eye. 
Bringing the show to an end, we have our very own Bambi K. And this collection is really interesting. And I say interesting because Bambi, I think her creativity was stretched to, to its max. Because keeping in line with the theme of uh, April Hughes, whatever we are trying and do on this very day, she came out with a collection using waste fabrics. So at first she was a bit apprehensive and she was joking that I don't want my clothes to look like a grandmother's patchwork <laughs> blanket or something else. But you know Bambi, if you know her, her style, her taste, it is definitely of very high taste and very well crafted. So you will definitely enjoy that uh, final sequence. And to make this evening even more uh, interesting, we have a group of young, talented boys. They will be bringing to us some very cool music. And we are very thrilled to have the vivacious Miss Kekri Ringa also come and enthrall us with her music, her persona, her energy. So just brace yourself to be blown away. <laughs> <laughs> 